The Saudi aviation student who naval officials say fatally shot three people inside one of the Navy's most historic and storied bases is reportedly being investigated for possible links to terrorism. Authorities led by the FBI are trying to determine the gunman's motive and whether Friday's shooting was an act of terror. The suspected shooter, who was training with the U.S. Navy to become a pilot, opened fire in a classroom building at the prestigious Naval Air Station Pensacola in Florida. Police allege she was armed with a handgun, shooting at anyone in his way. The deadly violence sent military trainees scrambling to barricade doors and get out of the building. According to reports from both the Associated Press and the New York Times, several other Saudi nationals were detained for questioning near the scene of the shooting, including some who are accused of filming the entire incident outside the building while gunfire erupted inside. Further media reports say the FBI is examining social media posts and investigating whether the shooter acted alone or was connected to any broader group. The FBI did not confirm the authenticity of the report. We are not prepared at this hour to confirm what may have motivated the shooter to commit this horrific act. There are many reports circulating, but the FBI deals only in facts. And this is still very much an active and ongoing investigation. As soon as we can, we will share more. We're finding out what took place, whether it's one person or a number of people. President Trump has declined to say whether the shooting was terrorism related, but said he had spoken with Saudi Arabia's King Salman, who denounced the gunman's unexplained bloody rampage. The king will be involved in taking care of families and loved ones. Uh, he feels very strongly. He's very, very devastated by what happened to what took place. The Saudi government offered condolences to the victims and their families and said it would provide full support to American authorities. The gunman was one of thousands of international military members training on U.S. soil, many of their countries purchasing military hardware made in the U.S. President Trump said Saturday that this is something that they've done for decades, but the program would now be getting a second look. Now, the Saudi vice minister of defense, he tweeted that Saudi graduates, himself included, are American allies. He said, like many other Saudi military personnel, I was trained in a U.S. military base and we use that valuable training to fight side by side with our American allies against terrorism and other threats. For City News, I'm Karen Seolin.